Hi, this is Michael Lepage and welcome to another video tutorial. Today we're going to talk about a really powerful feature in Primavera called the global change. Now, if you've never used the global change features in Primavera before, you're going to find out that this is a very powerful feature. It allows you to create customizable changes to your project plan in one step. Think of it almost as a macro that you might use in, say, a Microsoft Excel or a Microsoft Word. Now, you know that macros are programmable and allow you to do all sorts of really fancy changes or, or programming into a spreadsheet, for example. And Primavera has something similar, and it's called global change. But it's not quite as advanced as a macro. We're going to look at two global changes, one that's already uh, been created, and then we're going to create one ourselves, and you'll get to understand how this feature really works. Now, a word of caution. Global changes make changes to your project that can't be undone with, say, the undo feature. So you want to be careful with what you're doing. So here we go. First, we're going to bring up the global change window uh, under the tools menu. And here we go. Notice here I have a global change already created, the one that's highlighted called Increase Durations by 10%. This global change actually goes through all of the activities in the project that are a certain type and increases the durations by 10%. Now, if I were to click the uh, Modify button here, and we'll just scale this in a wee bit. You're going to see what happens here. You'll see how my screen is divided into three sections, if, then, else. And in the first section, this is where I'm selecting the types of activities that I want to make a change to. So this is if the activity type is task dependent. So I only, only want to change those activity types that are task dependent. Then, down here in the then section, original duration equals the same original duration but multiplied by 1.1. So that's a little formula that will actually increase the value of original duration by 10% when I run this global change. So let's click OK here and I'm actually going to go ahead and apply this change and see what happens. Because the global change is such a powerful feature, Primavera shows you this log file, kind of an overview uh, it calls it the, the global change report, an overview of the changes it's about to make, just so you under you can review them and you understand what's going to happen before you say yes, do these changes. So here I can see all my activities, and here I can see the old value column. Uh, so activity CS770 has got an old value of 18 days, and if I scroll over here to the right, I can see the new values. So 18 days times or add 10% gives me 20 days. Okay, 30 days add 10% gives me 33 days. Now I can review all of these changes, and if I'm cool with them, I'll click down here commit changes. Those changes will be committed to the project, and I won't be able to undo them. By the way, a little caveat here: it's always a good idea to make a backup or an export of your project plan before you run a global change, just in case you want to go back to how it was. I'm okay with this. I'm going to commit these changes. Commit. Would you like to save the log file? I'm all right. We'll say no. Great. If I close out of here, I can now look at the durations of each of my activities and see that they, in fact, have been increased. I see my 33 days. I see my 9 days. So that's an example of running a prefabbed global change. Of course, you can go and create your own, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a pretty simple global change. Um, here we go into global change. To create our own, I'm going to click the new button here, and I'm just going to scale this in a little bit. So it fits under my window. First thing I want to do is give my global change a name, and I'm going to call this calendar calendar update in the calendar update ch change what I'm gonna do is find activities in my project plan that have a duration of less than 10 days so 
in the if section here, I'm looking for the original duration field. If the original duration, and see in the is drop down here, I'm going to choose is less than, and I'm just going to put in 10 days in the value field. Oh, I put in this extra line. I'm just going to delete it. We don't actually need that. Okay. If the original duration of my activity is less than 10 days, then in the then section, I add a new line. I'm going to make a change to the calendar for that particular activity. So I'll go down here and find the calendar field. And I want to set that calendar field to a new value. I want activities that are less than 10 days to use the 4 by 10 workweek calendar. There we go. So if the original duration less than 10 days, calendar becomes 4 by 10 workweek. In the else section, I'm going to leave it as is, uh, just like that. I'll click OK. I'm just going to close here, show you the project again. Notice I have this calendar field, and have a look at the calendar that's assigned to all the activities. It's this conveyor system calendar. Now notice, see, a few activities are less than 10 days. We are going to update those with a new calendar. Back into Tools, Global Change, Calendar Update. There it is. I'm going to apply changes. Here's my change report. Again, I see old value. I'll scroll over to the right. New value is 4 by 10 work week for some of the activities. I'm going to commit those changes. Close out of here and have a look at my project plan. You'll see that any activity that has less than 10 days in the duration calendar now has the new 4 by 10 work week. Of course, activities that have 10 days uh, could be included as well. Now, just a point here. You're going to notice that there's two activities on screen that have the value of 10 days for original duration and were changed. And you might be asking, how come those ones were included? Well, the truth is, uh, I, if we set Primavera to look to show everything in, in hours here instead of days, you're going to notice that for this particular activity, it's 79 hours, which is actually one hour short of 10 days. So it actually, in terms of hours, it is less than 10 days. And down here, field painting is 35, sorry, not this one, but the s startup and debug system is less than 10 days as well. And that's why those two were changed. So you need to sometimes look at things in hours, which is how Primavera actually stores those values in the database. So that was a very high level overview of global change. Now, once again, just, just a word of caution, go ahead and explore global change, but be careful because those changes you're making to your project are permanent. I'm Michael Lepage. I hope you come back soon for another video tutorial. Have a great day.